It takes five times more efforts to get business from a new customer than getting business from an existing customer. Are you spending more time in winning new clients or are you spending enough time to get more business from your existing clients? Greetings, my name is Subramanian, sales trainer and author of the books Anybody Can Sell and Sales for Startup. We are in the video series of my first book Anybody Can Sell and today we are in the video of chapter number 17 which is about getting referrals from existing customers. I, in this video, I am going to share you two personal stories and I am going to answer some of the key questions which will be in your mind. If you like my video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon. Let me share you with my first story. So in the year 2016, when I was running my own company, in the first week of April, I took the list of my 143 customers, I remember, and sent them a mail on Happy Financial New Year. Because in India, the financial year is between April 1st to March 31st. So the first week of April, I wished them with a mail saying Happy Financial New Year. Out of the 140 plus customers I have sent a mail, around 60% of them replied back wishing me saying Happy Financial New Year. And around 12 to 14 customers given me, gave me new requirements for their business. One of the customer replied back saying, Subhu, you are the first person who is wishing me happy new financial year, right? So this gave me business of somewhere around 1.5 to 2 million Indian rupees. Only a single mail of happy financial year for my existing customers, right? So the key point here is we have to be in the customer's mind. Whenever they have a business need, they should remember you than anybody of your competitors, right? So this is without even asking for a business, I got a business from the existing customer. There's a second story where I was working with a, with a prospective customer and uh, that time I was running a recruitment business. So I used to uh, recruit software engineers for this a startup product company okay so we used to arrange a lot of interviews and uh, many many candidates got cleared in the final round got the offer but they didn't join because they got some other offer or in for some candidates we are not able to provide that salary due to salary negotiation it didn't get converted but i am working with the startup for more than six months and i put a lot of efforts but i didn't make any money because as a recruitment company i get paid only when the candidate joins the company okay so i spoke to this uh, startup founder uh, who is a, a lady and uh, she's very good and i have a very good business relationship with her so i spoke to her and asked her hey you know what i am i'm working with you for last six months and uh, in spite of your efforts and my efforts still i didn't make any money and i didn't i was, I was not able to raise any invoice to you so can you please connect me to your classmates and write a mail about me because she is from India's premier engineering institute and most of her classmates are entrepreneurs according to her. So she saw the merit in my, in my request and she sent a mail to her, her classmates in, the, in, the, in that premier institute. To cut the story short, one of his classmates who is in, in California, okay, he is running a startup product company in California and he want to open a development center in, in India, in Bangalore. He connected with me and he become my uh, client and we were working together for the next seven years. Okay, it was a very very good customer for me So even though I didn't make money from her company, even though I put efforts through her I got a very good referral. Okay, and through that particular customer I am now connected to many other customers even for my current business of sales training So what I'm trying to tell you my friends is when you made a relationship when you're already putting efforts for your existing customers You can ask them for referral unless you ask people are not going to give you okay because they are bogged down with so many problems in their particular company okay so you have to take the first step of and asking for reference okay then the question may come to your mind so when should i ask for a referral anytime is fine actually you can ask referral anytime you want but the best time is when the customer is happy about your service when you have just completed a project and 
come just given you a good delivery maybe within a, within two days you can go and ask them hey can you please connect me to some of your contacts so what i do is i ask for just two referrals say can you please connect me to two of your contacts who are in business similar business like you so just two when you give the number two they can think and get some two names and they can write a mail or give their mobile number to you or they can introduce you to them face to face so you can get two referrals from your from your existing customers right so this is a one way i which i follow to generate uh, leads the other thing is you may ask uh, what is the frequency i should ask referrals with my existing customers so what i do is i always create a yeah a top 10 customer list or if you a lot of customers top 25 customer list or a top 50 customer list always have this list and in a normal time when there is no corona no covid once in a quarter go and meet them without any agenda just go and meet them and ask them how is their businesses and just talk to them trust me most probably of automatically they will they will refer you to some of their clients even if they are not referring you maybe after one week you can ask for this referral okay so but you have to meet your top 10 or top 25 or top 50 customers every quarter okay if you have huge numbers top 50 clients here then at least once in six months you have to go and personally meet them okay in this pandemic time you can have your video call okay have your general chat of five ten minutes how business are going what is the current challenges what is the current growth plans just talk to them have a conversation and be in their mind being in their mind trust me they will give you business either for their own requirement or they will connect you to their contacts and their friends right so the frequency is either quarterly or if you have a lot of clients once in six months okay there's a frequency you have to meet your existing customers and ask for referrals right and some of some of you may feel that if you ask referral ask for referrals you are in a weaker position okay but trust me asking is not a position of weakness seeking help and asking is a position of strength you are very confident on your ability okay and you are very confident that you have given a good service to your existing customer that's why you are having the courage to ask okay so don't feel shy to ask okay so asking shows the power of strength and you have to ask your customers and have a proper list and then go and ask right so this is the message i have given in my chapter 17 of my of my first book anybody can sell to know more about how to ask for referrals you can buy my book anybody can sell in amazon and flipkart and read it and get more knowledge you can also attend my annual sales excellence program which happens in in every january okay the current batch is going to start so you can uh, reach out to me at uh, subramanian at subu.co or visit my website www subbu.co and register for the annual sales excellence program if you have any corporate training inquiries you can reach out to me at my mail id subramanian at subu.co if you're an entrepreneur or a startup founder and i want to have your one-to-one -one discussion with me to to uh, to get solutions for your uh, sales problem you can reach out to me at subramanian at subu.co of course it's going to be a, a paid session so see you soon in the next video of chapter number 18 of my book anybody can sell.